All right, you guys take zipline, I'll watch the roof. Got one. Dining area. I see him. So, what exactly is this intruder? Intruder is the stealth multiplayer experience. We were inspired by the great single player campaigns of Metal Gear Solid, SWAT 3, Deuce X, and Splinter Cell, and aimed to bring that gameplay into a team-based multiplayer shooter. Intruder allows for stealth, teamwork, tactics, and environmental interactions never before seen in a multiplayer game. Lure enemies into motion detectors near explosive traps, watch enemy movement through live security cameras, and alert your teammates using the hand radio. Use real SWAT hand signals to communicate silently when enemies are nearby. In Intruder, amazing stories and emergent gameplay comes from the player's actions to provide an experience you will never forget. So that's the description I just read directly off Steam and I only have maybe four or five hours into it so far and I must admit that the description nails it and the gameplay is awesome. This game is a hell of a lot of fun. And right now, for like the next week, it's on sale for only 10 bucks. It's amazing. I mean, I guess the only thing you could really harp about it is the low poly graphics. But I tell you, I mean, the, the gameplay makes up for it tenfold. Now, like I said, I only have a few hours into this, and I'm still learning. Like, I've only scratched the surface. So, I'm sure if any of you guys who are watching this video actually play Intruder are probably going to laugh your ass off at some of the stuff I do. So, I'm just letting you know right now. I'm new to the game, okay? You're going to see me do some pretty stupid shit. Oh, and look, for the kids that think Donkey Kong would be better off with a backstory, there's freaking progression. There you go, kids. Eat the shit up. Progression. Fucking shit to get. Well, this is a stealth game. Of course, I'm not gonna wear the freaking Santa cap. Freaking pick your server and bing bong boom. You're in there, just like that. That's what I love about these low poly games. And not to mention the performance is freaking stellar for anybody. So, if you got a friend with a crappy computer, this is the game to play with them. So, of course, I join a server that has 9 out of the 10 player slots filled. And of course, a game is already underway, so I'm in spectate mode. Let's just uh, see how this goes. It looks like they're already down to two intruders versus two guards. I'm going to try and talk about some of the gadgets within the game, and there's a bunch of them. First things first, there's three types of grenade. A frag grenade, which we all know what that does. A CS gas grenade, which will blur people's visions and invert their controls. And then there's the regular smoke grenade, we know what that does. Then there's a C4, you throw it and it lands and then it activates and then it's ready to detonate with your right click. Then there's an OptiWan, it's basically like a selfie stick with a mirror at the end for looking around corners and stuff. There's a banana you can throw on the ground, enemies will slip on, it'll knock them down. And then there's a cardboard cutout you can put up, it's basically just like a decoy to confuse enemies. Alright, hold that thought. Let's watch these boys breach. <laughs> so that's one way to win. Kill all the enemies. But typically you're looking for like a briefcase or nodes to hack. Depending on the map there's different objectives and the objectives spawn randomly. All right, here we go. This is me spawning into one of the first games I've ever played. Now, let's see if we can ramble off the rest of those gadget lists before we get into some action. There's motion sensors. Now, these combined with C4 can create a very deadly trap as they will beep in your ear when an enemy breaks the laser. There's binoculars. You can actually use them to send messages to allies to show people where the enemy is. There's the radio, which you have to use to talk to allies from a distance. Now, be aware that the enemies can hear you use your radio also. That's why there's also hand signals. Then, of course, the lock pick. This is what you use to open doors that are locked. And I'm pretty sure that's all I've seen so far. There might be more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed every single one of those shots. I should have been aiming much higher when they're up on the highway and leading them much more when they're on the zip line. Dude, the ballistics in this game are incredible. The way it interacts with your energy and balance and even health. Speaking of health, there goes all of mine. I mean, the ballistics, it, it really rivals squad's ballistics, if you ask me. I mean, they even have wind. You gotta look at the flag. If you're using the sniper rifle, you have to calculate the wind. How cool would that be to bring the squad? 
I'm gonna have to put flags everywhere just to be able to <laughs> know how to shoot. Well, I'm not sure, but I think there's like three guards left and I think three intruders left. Now the intruders have got to get into this facility and find a briefcase. I think there might be two briefcases on this map. You just got to find it within the house. Get the briefcase, it then kind of attaches to your back, and then rally up as many teammates as you can and try to get your butt out of the facility and over to like the little purple light thing, which is on the edge of the map, pretty much, you know, where you started. What does hacking the nodes do on this map? Now, do excuse my horrible camera work. I'm still kind of getting used to the camera. I'm so used to post and free cam. Throws down a smoke grenade just in case, and they are getting the hell out of there. So all he's got to do is take that briefcase and cross this little circle. Boop, intruders win. Now, of course, there's more than one exit point on each map. As far as I've seen, there's at least two per map. All right, now let's look at some more clips where I don't suck as much. All right, so this map is a community-made map. That's right, they have workshop open and you can make your own maps. The game comes with a level editor too. Now this map is much smaller than the original maps, but it's chaotic and fun as hell. And believe it or not, this is like the third freaking round I ever played. This was the first map I ever played. I learn a little bit later that this shotgun is non-lethal. So after you knock somebody down, pull out your pistol and put one in his head. And y'all know my play style. I'm not loudly gagging around. Let's get right to it. Oh my god, you guys. Wait till you see and feel how you open doors in this game. It's incredible. You use the mouse wheel up and down to open it either way. And I know it sounds rudimentary, but it's the best freaking door mechanics I've seen in any game. And tactical shooters need good door mechanics. I'm sorry, but if Insurgency had these door mechanics, it would be so much better. I just hit three of them and killed one, I think. And like I said, this is before I learned that this is a non-lethal shotgun. Oh, that's a grenade. Alright, now back on one of the developer-made maps, bigger map. This is, I believe, Riverside. Really cool map. Tons of rooms, tons of different ways of doing things. Alright, but let me shut up. I'm going to let this roll, no commentary. That's a good pick. Did you just take a picture of his ass? Please, we haven't even been on the first date. Uh, one down in garage. Wait, did you say you've got a case? Mm -hmm. Incredible, case. I just grabbed one too. Yeah, I'm heading to the uh, Uptown Funk You Up station. 
Head of the van, just to be sure. There we go. Yep. All right, boyos and goyos. We got a couple more clips to show you before we wrap things up. Don't forget, we're giving away two of these intruder steam keys so if you're interested and you want this game and don't have the funds make sure you stay tuned because i'm gonna give you directions on exactly how to enter and we'll be giving away one key at the end of every week I'm telling y'all, the gunplay feels really good the ballistic system y'all gotta look into and read about it's hard to explain and of course you can pull out your bare hands to go and check the dead if you see over in the text it says that he's dead because you can feign your death in this game too Alright, so of course I had to include this clip. This guy's the only intruder left. He's got one of the briefcases, and he's just slithering through the bushes, army crawling. I'm a snake! And these guys have no clue. Oh my gosh, when this was happening live, I was geeking out. And he just squirts right on out of there. Amazing! Oh man, the chat went nuts. Hee hee hee! I got it! I got the sniper rifle. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? Oh shit. Oh, come on. Oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> All right, boyos and goyos. To enter the giveaway, all you got to do is be somewhat a part of our little community we're trying to get going here. Join our Discord channel, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course, and drop a comment. But within your comment, most importantly, leave your Discord name and number. Once we get a good amount of members in our Discord channel, the idea is we're going to use that power to go and bring life to older games like Day of Infamy, Red Orchestra, stuff like that. Use our numbers to really breathe life into these awesome older games. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for the support. We're barreling towards 2,000 subscribers. Don't forget, guys, this awesome freaking sleeper of a game is going to blow. I guarantee it. This game is going to get hot. Get it now, within the next five or six days, while it's still on sale for only 10 bucks. You cannot beat it with a freaking stick, I'm telling you. It's like a sore dick, brother. Can't beat it. All right, guys. Y'all be good to each other.